traditional stuff. I do believe uh, Robert's powder rag was named after his wife, Rory Block, the blues guitarist and singer. And I certainly had a lot of uh, Stephen Grossman stuff when I was that young. Of course, another guy whose name was very familiar in those days was Mississippi John Hurt. And he's influenced uh, a great many, a great many guitarists of uh, my particular age. Lovely, gentle style he had. It's a kind of style I believe was current in the late 1800s. It wasn't really hard blues they played. But this is a song that, uh, it's only one of the songs he did. But it isn't the way John Hurt played it. It's a kind of arrangement that came from uh, Dog and Mel Watson's play. It took me years to, uh, I was playing for years. I thought I was doing Doc Watson stuff, and it did transpire in the end that I discovered that I, a lot of what I played was actually his son, Mel Watson's guitar parts, who's a great guy, died tragically young from a tractor accident. I was given strict instructions before I came on to do more talking this evening, oh, no, no, no. Right, you know, <laughs> which, as you can see, I'm not uh, nature's best gifted at. Anyway.
Amen. Amen.